Good morning, Emily Reese with you, and I am so pleased to welcome Rodolfo Nieto to the show, and Rodolfo is part of the Mill City Summer Opera. Good morning, Rodolfo. Good morning, Emily. Thanks for having me today. So glad that you're here, and there are two productions happening. Uh, One starts this week with Mozart, which, I mean, if you're going to go see Mozart opera, you're, you're doing the right thing. Uh, Absolutely. So, <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Cosi Van Tutte. Yeah, so we're opening Cosi Van Tutte uh, this Friday, and this is a production that, while traditionally it has been set or been written um, in the late 1770s, we're updating it or setting it in uh, post-World uh, War II Italy, which the Mill City Ruins Courtyard just works wonderfully for that, just that kind of broken-down feel of it. Yeah. Um, and it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful set that the uh, company has designed. And uh, it's a wonderful cast, a lot of local artists and a couple of uh, international artists who have come in to perform for this one. But the entire set, the costuming, everything has, been a, has a very uh, local feel to it with a lot of local designers, um, local producers, uh, local builders, uh, local orchestra, a lot of local artists who have been involved in this entire production. So we're really excited to open it up on Friday. Nice. So what have you enjoyed about being doing outdoor opera? You can't beat the venue. Uh, we have, I, I would say, the good fortune of being out there at about 1 in the morning on <laughs> Sunday night just to help set lights because there are only certain times you can work in the courtyard. Sure. So being, being in a really unique venue and a beautiful venue, um, particularly as uh, when, when they produce the shows, you get the wonderful effect of going in when there's still daylight, and then the show continues, and you start getting the sunset, and the entire ruin changes, and the light changes, mm. and it just aids in this kind of storytelling of, uh, particularly in this show, of having a day pass in the lives of these characters, and it really kind of sets that mood in a way that no artificial lighting can ever do. Right. That only the beautiful, you know, having a beautiful outdoor venue can allow. Right. Uh, we're going to talk about the other show in just a moment as well. But uh, regarding the Mozart, you know, Mozart, such a brilliant composer of opera in, you know, very specifically. So, 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 I mean, they're just so good with the, the ensemble mm-hmm. writing and the, and Cosi Von Tutte, that's a, a comedy, right? Correct. It, it's a it's, um, lighthearted comedy, but it's sophisticated comedy, though, too. So there's a lot of, uh, um, Mixing up of disguises is the kind of thing where it's a mistaken identity show. Um, but there are also some very tender, touching moments in it, too. And you, you, you get the opportunity to see the humanity of these characters, even though it's still a lighthearted comedy yeah. that uh, will hopefully will keep you laughing throughout. I mean, even though it's in Italian, I think it's worth saying that um, it's in Italian, but it'll have English supertitles. And yet even if you just hear the Italian, if you watch the stages, you're going to get a great idea of what's happening and, and get a lot of the sense of the comedy and even some of the drama that the show contains. Mm-hmm. Love and forgiveness is what I think of when I think of that show. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that's probably a good way to describe it in a nutshell. Mm-hmm. So uh, something else fun happening at Ice House starting next week, right? Rodolfo, tell us mm-hmm. about La Serva per- Padrona from uh, Pergolesi. Yeah, La Serva Padrona, not as well uh, known of an opera as the Mozart's show, but a fabulous opera uh, by Pergolesi, written about 1733, um, but we are setting it in uh, contemporary times. It is a three-person show, but only two people will be singing. The third is a, a young 13-year-old who will be playing uh, one of the smaller but important characters, um, and we are setting it in Ice House a Bar and Restaurant in Minneapolis. Again, a unique venue to have an opera, yeah. but, if, but, if, but if you've been there and if you've seen shows there, it's a great venue for more intimate concerts, uh, ranging from classical to jazz to art song to um, more popular music. Um, so we're really excited to bring the show there. And we're going to have a, a small uh, little chamber orchestra accompanying us as well. So you, you're not going to lose out on the opera experience oh, cool. by seeing this, yeah, this shorter opera at uh, Ice House. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell us a little bit about the story of that one. The story of that one, uh, traditionally... Well, the way it was written was there is an older man and and his younger servant, and it's how she is able to, um, I would say, manipulate him or convince him that she is really the best option for him uh, in terms of matchmaking, uh, in terms of uh, him looking for a wife, and she frustrates him to the point and and 
some mistaken identity in there as well, <laughs> gets him, tricks him almost essentially into choosing her. We've played with the script a bit, not in changing anything in terms of what's written, but in just looking deeply into the text and saying, well, how can we uh, take that and look at that nowadays and, and the way our society looks at things and, and uh, things that are important to us now? Mm-hmm. And so we've uh, looked at some of the text and changed a bit the story a bit to in uh, – Older widower, I'll say older in terms of you know my age, um, so not that old, but an older <laughs> widower with his son and having this servant, this woman who helps in the house, and how they really do have an attraction to each other, but he's either too upset or still too too melancholic to acknowledge that, and her way to push and prod him to say, hey, we have a good thing going on here, <laughs> let's move forward with it, and how she can do that in a humorous way, in a fun way to get this guy out of his shell and actually look at her as, as the beautiful uh, woman that she is. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's been really fun to play with these older Italian texts um, and this wonderful music, uh, Pergolese composed in the late Baroque period. So it's a lot of, uh, I call them the vocal pyrotechnics. So a lot of yes. quick singing, a lot of high, a lot of low, a lot of dynamic shifts. And again, Cosia, a lot of tender moments as well, a lot of beautiful just a dramatic moment to really see these two human beings and how they interact together. Sure. Uh, Rodolfo, tell us just a little bit about yourself before we have to say goodbye for the morning. Sure. Uh, so I'm a local actor and singer. I do a, uh, Nowadays, I do a lot of musical theater uh, in town with a lot of local companies um, and also had a good fortune of uh, being out in New York last year with uh, Theater La Teda, another great company locally. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, uh, but I came from Chicago originally Moved here to work with Minnesota Opera and, and have stayed ever since. And I'm really happy to be a part of this community, which is such a great arts and theater community. Probably one of the best in the world. I mean, it's just fabulous. So it's really an honor to work with Mill City Summer Opera uh, all of this summer and uh, kind of be a part of every production that they have. And it is worth mentioning, this is uh, everyone's last opportunity to see Mill City Summer Opera because that will not be continuing next year, correct? That's correct. The Minnesota Historical Society is not going to extend the contract beyond this year, so this is the last time to see uh, Mill City Summer Opera at the Ruins. Mm-hmm. At the Ruins, yes. Let's make that ruins, clear. Yes. At the Ruins. At the Ruins. At the Ruins. <laughs> at, the ruins. Yeah. at the Ruins. Well, Rodolfo Nieto, what a pleasure it was to speak with you. I am definitely 100% going to be at both shows. Uh, it, it is worth mentioning that Cosi Van Tute will be on from the 12th to the, through the 24th, and mm-hmm. uh, La Serva Padrona is only playing two nights, right, on July 15th and July 17th at That's Ice right. Okay. That's correct. Two, show, two shows tonight and all information you can find at millcitysummeropera.org. Great. Rodolfo, what a pleasure. Thanks much. Have a good one. You as well, Emily. Thank you.